Hey everybody, so here's a look at the next stage in lighting. Ceiling lights I'll just mention briefly in so far as I really need to either shave those downs, the little bit that are showing over the top, or I'm even thinking about reversing them so they point in towards uh, the farthest corner and have a different reflection. They're a little too bright overall, but once a lot of objects and all that stuff goes in there, uh, that could definitely bring the overall tone down. But relative to that blue wall on the back, which is actually just regular white LEDs as opposed to the warm whites in the ceiling, you can definitely see how much of an effect that, uh, how much bluer they are. But overall, I'm liking what I see. Initially, there were a couple vague hot spots. I managed to get rid of those by shaving down the LEDs. Uh, basically, just flattened the tip on them. And I'm pretty happy with this. Looks good from all the angles. That inner corner there on the uh, blue glowing wall, that's actually a piece of tape that's darkening things up. I had thought it was the space pod door or something back there, but uh, I will have to paint that silver. But that is just a piece of blue tape going on right there. This is going to look really good with all the blinking lights that go across the top of the uh, back wall there. And uh, dimming down the uh, main room will definitely add a little bit as well. So uh, let me pull the uh, hood off here and we'll take a look at what I did. So pulling the lid off definitely gives a uh, different view to it all. It's very bright at the bottom and much dimmer at the top. So having that silver back there definitely really uh, helps out and makes the scene. So what I'm thinking about doing is just getting a uh, regular piece of paper when all is said and done. And get down at a ground view here. So we got a gradient in the ceiling now. So that definitely brightens things up a lot. I think it gives it a little more life and uh, it evens the tone out from top to bottom which is definitely the most important thing. <clears throat> so basically it would be just a uh, fold of paper that runs along there. That will also help uh, act as a light blocker as well so that could definitely actually be a critical thing now that I'm thinking of it and it may be worth doing that in styrene. But you can definitely see how the uh, tips of the LEDs were shaved down. I don't know if I have any footage of the hot spots before they uh, got shaved. But the difference between warm white and blue and regular white is uh, well right there in front of you, really. I'm gonna put a few regular blue LEDs in here just to blue up the blue and make sure that under all lighting circumstances there is no mistake that that is supposed to be blue or not. I got to uh, figure out what kind of LEDs go below each of the freezer tubes and uh, got to throw an LED down there in the stairway. There's going to be one underneath uh, yeah, the stairs, the elevator there. It's hard to see with all that glare going on. There we go. And uh, a couple others as well. So uh, let's get the lights on and we'll take a look at the actual wiring down there. Now, as I've mentioned in past videos, all the wiring is going to be modular, so all the main parts can be taken apart with uh, relative convenience. Of course, all this will eventually be glued down, but right now it's just kind of hanging loose. And most of this was just to hold the ceiling in while I did those wall tests, which I think were pretty successful overall. Let's pull the floor out of here.